All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Shopify LinkedIn ads conversion tracking. So how to set up LinkedIn ads conversion tracking on a Shopify website. So what you're gonna to need to get started is a Shopify website and you're gonna need a LinkedIn advertising account. So the way you can set up a LinkedIn advertising account is first set up a LinkedIn page and then what you can do is just come right here to linkedin.com slash ad hyphen beta slash account. Otherwise, just search LinkedIn advertising. You can get started really easily with a LinkedIn advertising account. So once you have your, your account set up, maybe you wanna run LinkedIn ads, maybe you're selling business type products. Um, anything related to business can do well on LinkedIn. Um, obviously, I wouldn't try to sell some consumer type products on LinkedIn. I think you're better off using Google ads or Bing ads or Facebook ads. Um, but what we're gonna do is we open up our LinkedIn campaign manager here. So we have our ad account open. And we're going to come up here to account assets and open up the insight tag page and the conversions page. So those are the two pages you need to go to in order to get started with LinkedIn conversion tracking. So if we open up the insight tag page here, you can see right here we have website tracking and it's tracking Surfside PPC right now. So it's saying last signal received 20 minutes ago. So if we come to website tracking here, what you wanna do is make sure you first create your insight tag if you don't have one already. And then what you can do is click on manage insight tag, click on see tag here, and you're gonna either be able to install the tag yourself, send it to a developer or use tag manager. So what we're gonna do is install the tag ourselves. We're gonna click here and just copy the tag. And then next, what you need to do is go to your Shopify website. So you're going to have to add this in two different places on your Shopify website. So we're going to come over here to Shopify. You can see we have the online store and themes page open. So this will open up what your active theme is right here. So what you want to do is click on actions and then you want to click on edit code. So the file that you want to edit when you're able to get into it is theme.liquid. So you want to click on the theme.liquid file and it's going to open up a file that looks something like this and you want to scroll pretty much all the way to the bottom of it. So at the very bottom, you're going to see this closing body tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little space here and we're going to put our LinkedIn tag right above that closing body tag and click on save. So that's all we need to do is click on save now and that's going to add the LinkedIn insight tag to our website. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to come over to settings here. So we're gonna open up the settings page and it's gonna look just like this. Um, you wanna click on checkout here. And then when you open the checkout page, what you wanna do is scroll down to the section that says order processing. So that's where you wanna scroll down to is order processing. Right under additional scripts, you wanna make sure you paste the insight tag there as well. So that way your Shopify website will be able to track the user all throughout your website. So you can create retargeting audiences through LinkedIn and then as people go through the checkout process, you'll be able to track everything that they do during the checkout process. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come back over to LinkedIn and we're gonna go to the conversions page. So we're gonna come right here, you go to account assets and you open up the conversions page. So the conversions page is gonna look something like this and it's gonna have all the different conversions that you can create. Um, so what we're gonna do is click on create a conversion here. And what we're gonna do is example, we'll just put purchase complete so you can name this whatever you want so however you know that someone is actually purchasing something from your website so we have purchase complete here we can go to enter your settings and what it's going to do is choose a type that best describes the action you want your website visitors to complete so right here is going to be purchase so it's going to say estimate how much the conversion is worth to your business to measure return on ad spend so let's just say for example the average order value on your website and you can use like the last three months of data just take the total value of all your revenue and divide it by the number of transactions on your website so let's just say a quick and easy example if you have ten thousand dollars in revenue and 100 transactions then your individual conversion would be 100 dollars so you can do this however much uh, the average order value is on your website. Maybe it's $50, maybe it's $100. So you just wanna set that there. So then you're able to set an actual value on your conversion. So you can put $100 there and then it's gonna say set the window of time after someone clicks or views your ad for a conversion to be counted. Um, so this is really up to you. You can do as long as you want, as short as you want. So clicks and views will do 30 days and seven. We'll just keep it the same settings that they have. So next is gonna be select campaigns to track conversions. So you just click on an individual campaign here that you want to track a conversion. So we'll just pretend like we wanna track it for this campaign right here. And then the next thing we wanna do is define how you would like to track your conversion. So what you would wanna do is you're gonna say, use my site-wide insight tag, and then you can do pages that start with this URL, have URLs that contain the specified text or exact URL, we're gonna do contain the specified text, and then all we're gonna do is thank you.
So the way Shopify works is every time someone hits that thank underscore you page, so usually it's check out thank you, um, any URL that contains that text, so this text right here, that's gonna be able to track each individual checkout that happens on our website, and then all we need to do is click on create. So that's gonna save the conversion for us, and you can see purchase complete, it's gonna say no signal yet. So once we actually start getting some conversions, that should show up properly. Now the next thing you can do is if you click on create a conversion here, I'm gonna do this one much quicker, is let's just say we do add to cart. So we can do enter your settings, it's gonna say choose the type that best describes the action. We're gonna do add to cart here, how much the conversion is worth to your business. So in the previous example, we said each individual purchase is worth $100. Let's just say every time someone does add something to the cart, so every time someone visits the cart page, um, and you can find all of this data using some of your Shopify data and using your Google Analytics account. So let's just say you have the same example as before, so $10,000 in revenue, and let's just say you had a total of 200 people that have added things to their cart. So 200 times people have visited the cart page after they added something to their cart. So then the average amount that this conversion would be worth for your business is $50. So now you have a $50 conversion for every time someone adds something to their cart. It's gonna say set the window of time someone clicks or views your ads, you can keep it the same exact thing. Select campaigns. Now the main thing is you don't wanna track both add to carts and purchases because if someone adds something to their cart, it's gonna give you a $50 in revenue. If someone per then purchases it, it's gonna give you an additional $100. So what you might wanna do is just say, okay, I wanna focus on people adding things to their cart for this individual campaign, we're not gonna focus on purchases. We're gonna say every time someone adds something to their cart, it's worth $50 for our business. So you just wanna focus on really one or the other when it comes to LinkedIn conversion tracking, uh, especially on a Shopify website. So we're gonna click on this one, we'll just have it right there. We'd have to get rid of the other conversion um, because we don't wanna track both because that's gonna basically double track things. It's gonna track every time someone adds something to the cart and then goes through and purchases it. You're gonna be using the site-wide insight tag and it's gonna say pages and we're gonna do URLs that contain the specified text and all you need to do is just enter cart here. So it's really that simple, click on create. Okay, so now you can see we have add to cart here so I had to remove it from that campaign. So really you wanna focus on one or the other of these. It might be a little bit easier to get started with that and then as you see LinkedIn ads sending conversions to your website so people are starting to purchase things from your website and you can tie it back to your LinkedIn advertising campaigns, maybe you wanna start focusing more on purchases. So that's just another strategy that you can use. So this is LinkedIn conversion tracking on your Shopify website. You need to add your code in those two different places so right above the body tag in the theme.liquid file, and then also on the checkout page in the order processing section. So that way, LinkedIn can track everything that's happening on your website. Now there's a lot of other things you can do. We're gonna have some more LinkedIn advertising tutorials coming out shortly. So this is how to set up conversion tracking on your Shopify website using LinkedIn ads. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Okay, just a quick disclaimer. So all of these videos are being done on behalf of a client, zerocompressionbackbrace.com. So there's certain information I'm not gonna show to you uh, in terms of sales data and things like that. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. But because this client has allowed me to create videos using their website and using their advertising accounts, it allows me to release these videos for free rather than giving you a paid course. So if you do need a back brace, go to zerocompressionbackbrace.com. Otherwise, keep watching our Shopify videos. Thank you for watching our videos 